Everybody has a phone, and last year, regulations on phone use during school was very relaxed. Reporter Reed Cummins is here to answer the begging question, how much regulation is needed? Reed. Thanks, guys. Teachers and students shared their opinions on the new cell phone policies being implemented on our campus. Many teachers and staff agree that cell phones are becoming a huge distraction in the classroom, but English teacher Miss Iskra believes there can be a balance. It, there are enormous distractions. It's not that they can't be useful, it's that we have to kind of practice some self-discipline to figure out what is a good time to use it and what is not a good time. Uh, I remember last year that the only class that I had that had any sort of strict phone policies was my math class, but now it's like four classes this year, so that's a big change. Oh my gosh, cell phones are a constant distraction and problem in class. Um, you know, I think as, as a school, um, we've done a better job, I think, teacher to teacher, trying to make sure we're taking up cell phones that, that are not a distraction. Um, you know, they can be helpful, but, you know, the kids need to be able to put it away, and that's hard for kids to do, so that they can focus during the lesson. And then once the lesson is done, you know, I'm okay with them having the cell phone again. Many students in favor of less cell phone regulation may argue in the name of safety. When we have lockdown uh, drills uh, and in the past when we've had real lockdowns, uh, students being on their cell phones can be helpful, communicating with people outside, um, letting their parents know that they're okay. Uh, in that regard, I think they're helpful. I mean, it's nice that if there's something like that, that the parents can actually be in contact with their kids and kids can let them know. Um, so I don't see that as much of a problem as, as, as something that could be positive. Remember to be responsible while using your phone in class.